Today I'm with Chris Chislett and we're going to talk about something kind of special. Always. How to... You know it's always kind of special. Elite. Well, you're like, special. Thank you. To me. Like what kind of special? <laughs> no, no, like, no, we won't go there. No, yeah. uh, <laughs> we, we, will, we will make we'll more stop, people okay, mad. Yeah, I can see going <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, that's bad. What do we got here? Um, all right. So, you know when you're drinking a wine mm -hmm. and you don't finish it? No, I don't know that. No, I don't know that either. So it's already a pointless episode. <laughs> I know. Next. Let's pretend you're the kind of, you're okay, you know, you're young, you're single. You're on you your fourth want, you bottle. Know. You don't want to have to That's finish it. it. There yeah, you go. Exactly. I got you. Okay, all perfect. Right. There we go. So, all right, so we're on our fourth bottle. All right. And, <laughs> and it's okay, about there. So the white yeah, sure. bottle, yeah. And we've got a little bit left. Okay, so what do you do? do don't you want know? it to spoil. Well, exactly. So we're going to jam a cork back on that. Wine. So okay. I've got um, essentially two of the top. I mean, these are like the really main two ways of preserving okay. wine. Right. There's a, uh, I don't even know what this thing is called. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's a suction it's pump. pump. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what we're going to call it. Yep. I'm not yeah. even going to. No. I threw you a softball yeah, and you yeah, just, I just, you let it ride. I just right got, by. I got kind of red. Yeah. Got sort of flustered. <laughs> uh, How's that work? I don't know, mate. <laughs> I don't, yeah. All right, so so this is like what well, you, you can buy these at the grocery store. You can buy them at Target, Target, you know. Okay. Uh, oh, French. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Um, you stick the stopper in the top, and essentially just pump out the. Uh, so you're just making a vacuum. Yeah, yeah. Pump out, pump out. Yeah. So it's you know. Is that what they do at, at restaurants and stuff for um, the house wines and stuff? Like some of them do, depending on where you go to. I, you know, for me, honestly, like you can buy these. I mean, just about any grocery right. store has them, but you can, can you kind of smell that? Like I do. Like a sort of wine in the, wine in I, the air. It, yeah. It's my main problem with it is that, okay. You're it, sucking out the goodness, you're right? You're sucking out a lot of the, I think, of the aroma right. of the wine. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe you can get an extra day right. out of it if you kind of do that, you know, a so, few times. In so if you're going to have this for breakfast the next day, it's okay. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, you want to, you know, you want to go to work. Got to boil it down, you know? Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> Um, so that's one method. Okay. And then the uh, the private preserve. This is a little bit of a better. It looks like a hairspray can. It does, doesn't it? And have you felt it? It's incredibly, I, incredibly light. I, like an empty so it feels hairspray like can. Someone's making millions of dollars. Uh, off selling, that, selling, uh, selling cans. Just canned air. Is this BS just, or is it real? See, we're here like slugging This our is Mythbusters now. You know, we're here like just working all day every day, and yeah. some guy sells us air. Private and, preserve. Uh, yeah. So that's a um, nitrogen, argon, um, CO2 okay. mix. So essentially just kind of inert They're gases. very light gases, that's obviously light. And well, that's yeah, the yeah, idea, yeah, yeah. you know. So it kind of settles, um, well, the idea is that it's supposed to settle on the wine and kind of displace, you know, the oxygen. Right. So the wine stops breathing gotcha. in the bottle. So it stops stop oxidizing, breathing. basically. Yeah. I gotcha. um, this is kind of one of the better. And then you put the cork on top of it. Yeah, all yeah, and that. then, you know, put it back in the fridge or, or whatever. So right. that's... I mean, those are the you know two methods. Private preserves a little bit better. I mean, these things are like fifteen, fifteen dollars. They say you'll get yeah. like one hundred and twenty sprays out of a bottle. So that's one hundred and twenty bottles worth of wine. More or less. No way. I don't. I don't believe, believe that either. either. <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> I want to do that challenge. So I mean, you know, cool little, cool little gimmicks. Sure. And everything. Um, it's very high tech, sort of. Too. I have one lying around the house. I've had this for I think. Five or six years. <laughs> you use it so often because like, right, you're yeah. like me. You don't. You don't believe in a half-empty bottle. I don't at all. I think, <laughs> honestly, if it's completely truthful, I think it's all a waste of money. I think they're both just a I, complete waste. I of money. I would agree because you um, you need to either drink it or share. Yeah, uh, you you stick the uh, you stick cork the, back, back in, in it. the bottle, put it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. If it's red or white, you'll still get you know three or four days yeah. out of it. And or use it to cook with. with. I mean, those well, are the other yeah. things. Yeah, I mean, so to me, yeah, these are fine, but. Oops. It doesn't really make sense. And hey, I guess we're going to end on that note. Yeah. It's kind of meh. We'll see you guys on the next Wine Guy segment. This video was brought to you by Joseph and Curtis, custom wine cellars and wine racks for residential homeowners and commercial clients since 2001. Visit their website at josephandcurtis.com.